This is Twit. So we are approaching a very important date. For the first time since 1979, a total eclipse of the sun will be visible in much of the United States. Uh, we'll, we'll see an eclipse everywhere in the United States, but the totality, in fact, if you go to NASA's website, which is great, eclipse2017.nasa.gov, you can see, and I think everybody's done this by now, their map that shows you, it's an interactive map, where totality will be. It's probably too late to go to places like the Painted Hills in Oregon. You can't get there. You can't even get there. So many the people, people are that left last week for there can't get there. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? There have been stuff on social media showing the lines of the cars. They're yeah. still trying to get there. Are there, I mean, there must be secret places you could go somewhere in the, along that line. It can't be that's sold out everywhere. Just so you know, the technically very best place in the world yeah. is in Kentucky. Oh. That's going to have the longest The totality. longest, various yeah. bet. But if you're anywhere in the United States, you're going to see some eclipse action. And I got news for you. You're probably better off if you're not seeing the total thing. Because guess what happens when a total eclipse happens? What? It goes dark. <laughs> it's not great for photography. Is that what you're saying? As a photographer, <laughs> I'm against the dark. <laughs> you want a little bit of light. I, I mean, it's like the George Carlin thing. Tonight's forecast is... Dark, widely scattered <laughs> dark until widely scattered light in the morning. I want some light. So That's a good point. I never really thought about that. So we'll that. talk about this, but I mean, there's some things I can tell you to do during the eclipse that nobody else is going to tell you to do. Well, one thing we were going to tell you not to do, and you've heard it over and over again, but it bears repeating, don't look at the darn eclipse. Wear your special eclipse glasses if you got them. Although we have to point out there are a lot of people who got what they thought were safe eclipse glasses on Amazon, and Amazon's been sending out refunds saying they were either mislabeled or intentionally mismade yeah. and printed, it said ISO certified, and they weren't. So how can I, I mean, if you've got a pair of glasses and, and you got them on Amazon and you haven't gotten a refund, then the next thing to do is to, I guess, test these glasses, because you don't want to look at the sun. It will, it will burn a hole in your retina, and you could yes. either get partial blindness or total blindness. And it can be permanent. And there is no cure for it if no. you do, right? It's, it's, this no. is permanent damage. So these, we think, will probably work because, well, besides the fact that it says all this stuff on it, if I look at the very brightest lights we have here in the studio, we, can't we have see some a thing. bright ones. You yeah. can't see a thing, or you yeah. can see a little dot coming Here's a of. tip. When you're trying to protect your eyes... Buying the $1 version of anything <laughs> is sort of like going to the $1 Chinese food place. Yeah. Now, the there's idea. a lot of anecdotal information. A guy called the radio show and said, oh, no problem. If you've got x-ray, uh, exposed x-rays, just cut the black part of the corner and you no. can look right. I got to tell you, all the experts say none of these things like foldings, 35 millimeter film a nope. hundred times. Nope. None of that stuff is guaranteed. But safe. there is one thing that will work. What's that? number 14 welder's goggles and you cannot this is how critical it is you can't stack like an eight and a six you have to get the you have 14. the number 14 if you got okay. if you just happen to have number 14 welder's goggles later, and if you don't it's probably too late it's to probably to too late them. to get now you've made something or we've made something i did not make this somebody jerry probably made this that is uh, looks to me just like an amazon box but in fact is an eclipse viewing box we actually have the vi video of of how uh, how jerry made this and is there somewhere you can go to find out i probably if you go to the here here we go we're going to take a box and uh some scissors and a razor blade and uh, some tape and really what this is going to be is a pinhole camera yeah. right yeah. the key is it, it, well as anybody who's a photographer knows that the the smaller the aperture the more perfect the focus and it turns yeah. out if a tiny tiny pinhole sized aperture you don't even need a lens no you can point a pinhole aperture at the sun now you don't look through the pinhole no you do not that's not a good idea what you do is you put the pinhole on one side of the box on the back of the box you put some white paper and you I can, can actually the reflection. see the reflection of the sun and this of course has a little opening carved he's going to use some tin foil for the pinhole and and tape it down I could tell this is Jerry because he's the only person who wears flannel plaid shirts in this studio. <laughs> and he's now using a tiny little thumbtack, the tinier the better, to make a little hole in it. He's pointing it at the sun and he's using this as a viewer. Now this is probably what you should do with your kids. There you go. There the you problem go. I have with this is, great, I got a white dot. <laughs> well, I got news for you. This is the problem with the whole I want to photograph the eclipse. That's all you're going to see anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is like... I understand that if this were 
the year 750 AD. Right. There might be some mojo behind this, but you know, come on. It the, the thing is, first of all, I do want to say this. Please do not look through your DSLR and think oh, you're protected. So that's not safe. No. And even this. The, you, your eyes will be safe, but your camera won't be safe. If you have, like me, I shoot a mirrorless camera. Right. And I can it, look at the sun all day in my mirrorless camera. It has camera. a video tap. You're not actually looking at the sun. You're looking at a video of the sun. I'm looking at a television screen. Right. I'm not looking at the sun. That's How, not going to hurt your eyes, but will but, it hurt the camera? Yes, and that's the thing I want. I saw some stuff on social media today. I want to clear this up. If you have a mirrorless camera, your eyes are safe, but your camera's not. You need a solar filter to protect the sensor. While it won't hurt your eyes, it will hurt your camera. So it could so actually burn out the sensor. You can burn out the sensor. So please right. get a solar filter if you're going to do anything like this. And if you have a mirrored camera, a DSLR, you cannot look through that viewfinder. Because you're looking at the you're sun. You're looking at the sun. It's a reflection fact, off a mirror. In fact, you're looking at the sun that comes through an, a, 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 lens. a long lens that's probably Focusing on your eyeball. making it really big and you're going to go <laughs> blind. And, I, and I'm sorry to say that we will read stories yeah. the day after. It will happen. That people do this. Yeah. So uh, mostly, I worry about kids who are, you know, and this is why parents, you really need to know this, and you need to monitor your kids because yes. kids. I, I remember when I I was a kid seeing an eclipse. You you, it's just the sun's getting a little darker. I can now look at the sun. You want to look at it, and and please just don't let your kids. So do that. please don't listen to Debug in our chat room who says it will not hurt the camera. That's a myth because it will. <laughs> it will actually melt yeah, the sensor. It, now, if Debug wants to personally <laughs> warranty each and every sensor out there in the world for people that want to listen to Debug, that's fine. But the official... This is the problem. The official uh, guidance, I'm, I'm Olympus sponsored, the official guidance from Olympus is don't do it. Don't do it. Even so, though it won't hurt you because you're looking at a video exactly. picture, it will exactly. hurt the, the sensor. It's bad for the sensor. Now, I will say this. Lots of people are going to want to know how to do this. So real quick, I just want to say. Okay, tell us how to do it. So you want a long lens. The yep. longer, the better. Because the sun is going to look like this little it's, teeny you dot. You saw it. It is. Yeah. It's so dot. we're looking for like a five, 600 millimeter lens. Longest lens you can get. That's number one. Okay. I number, gave John my 70 to 200 with the 2X extender, so you, he's got 400. You're getting close. Yeah. You want to put a solar filter on there. Yes, That's and he got, he got a solar filter. Now, it turns out he got some solar filters that weren't, in fact, sufficient uh -oh. so he went back and he got a solar filter because sometimes some of the recommendations you got to be careful there's a lot of anecdotal stuff that's wrong yeah so he went back and got some what is it 14 the yeah, welders welders, welders class. classes is 14 but now the next thing is you're going to want to think about how you want to shoot this because when this happens if you are in totality it will be dark <laughs> So you're not going to get a very good shot. What you'll get is uh, the, you'll you get, the, you'll the, get the, corona the corona of the sun. Yeah, yeah that's, you can get that. That's pretty. Yeah. But one thing that you might want to do if you want to do this is shoot a time lapse. Because then you get, love to see, to see that, yeah. you get to see the dots. Yeah. And that's kind of a cool thing. And stop down. Don't shoot wide open. Stop down. Like around F-16. Why is that? Because you're going to get a sharper image. Okay. And because you're going to reduce the light coming through the right. camera. It's and awfully bright. We're looking anyway. at the sun. Right. So right. it's kind of bright. Right. Uh, th those are the basics. But now I want to go with a completely radical idea. Oh, what's that? Don't point your camera at the daggum sun during the eclipse. Point it anywhere else. What's much more interesting during the eclipse is how people are reacting to yes. it. The reflections, the, the images you see. Folks, you aren't old like me, <laughs> but I remember the last eclipse. Okay? 1979? You remember 1979? I, I was alive back Tell then. Tell us about it, Grandpa Scott. When I was paying 32 cents a gallon for gas. <laughs> what? <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> in my two thousand dollar Camaro, I know. I want to say those were the days, my friends. Don't photograph the eclipse in terms it's of boring. looking at the sun. Everybody's doing it. Point your camera at all the stuff around yeah. you. So here's yeah. what I'm going to do. You're a wildlife photographer. I'm going to go to an estuary near where I live. An estuary is where salt water and fresh water mix. Yeah. And there will be birds there. Uh -huh. Now birds rely on the the sun and the sky for navigation. Sure. When in the so suddenly in the morning it goes dark. They're going to lose their bird brains. What do they think? Do they think it's nighttime all of they a sudden? They don't know what they're going to do, and some of them will probably retreat. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do, because the last time I photographed the eclipse, I was photographing a gorgeous model outside, and I was a little bit busy. And she but, just took <laughs> off all her clothes. No, so I didn't that, say that. Yeah, okay. uh, the birds, I'm not sure what they do. So my backup is I'm going to photograph Mount Rainier, because the light that's going to come across the bay and the mountain yeah, yeah. is never going to look like that. It's so unique. It's not like the golden years. hour. It's not like sunrise no. or sunset. It's... And it's Different. so cool. So you have yeah. about, now check this out. For where I live, 9.02 a.m. is when the, right. the is going to be the strongest. But about, you know, 10, 15 minutes before that, 
to now about a half hour after. The light's just gonna be gorgeous. So look around you, look at scenics, look at doing some portraiture work, look at doing wildlife, anything that you can photograph that's in that incredible light that we won't see for, I don't know, I can't remember how long it's till the next It's time. quite a long way, yeah. It's been a long time. This is yeah. a unique opportunity to photograph something not around. Now, all your friends are gonna have those pictures of the sun with the little moon thing in it, and yeah, that's cool. But you could have pictures of things that nobody else has. This is the key to, I think, a good photographer like you, like Trey Ratcliffe. They're not looking to take the obvious shot. They're no. thinking about, they're thinking beyond that. And yeah. I love that. Yeah. And you get these unique shots that no one else gets. And just think of how people are going to react. Now, these are, these are the uh, shadows that you sometimes get. Yeah, they're, they're just awesome. There's so much stuff you're going to see that your eyes aren't even going to really know what you're looking at. Because well, I remember the last partial we had, the, what happens is the trees become pinhole cameras, yeah. in effect. And so you see an image of the partial eclipse through the leaves of the trees. Look at the shadows. They're so cool. I love yeah, that. Yeah, these, these shadows are going to illuminate the landscape and anything in it. So you're going to have this very unusual look. And it's going to be so cool. If your camera's, if you're just so focused on, I'm going to get the actual eclipse, you're going to miss all that. Yeah. So my advice is, Look at the stuff your friends are doing <laughs> later. Do the opposite. <laughs> Do the opposite. <laughs> Think of something cool. Now, if you go to my LinkedIn page, it's got born on LinkedIn, you'll see a shot of the harbor, Gig Harbor, where I live from sort of like my front door. And it's got Mount Rainier in the background and it's got the beautiful harbor in the foreground. That's going to look completely different during the eclipse, and I'm going to shoot I can't the crud wait. out of it. Where can we see that? You best go to Scott Bourne. Well, I'll, have, I'll, have, I'll actually have it on my Twitter and Facebook feeds. I follow you on Instagram. It's Bourne.Scott. On Instagram, but on B -O -U -R -N -E. Facebook and Twitter, it's Scott Bourne. Yeah. So follow me there, and I will have those shots up can't within a day. In fact, we'd like to see your shots. If you take pictures, oh, yeah. whether it's of the eclipse or even more interestingly of what's happening during the eclipse, email them to newscreensavers at twit.tv or you can tweet them. And if you do, just add at newscreensavers, right? It's plural. It says singular here, but I think it's just plural. At newscreensavers uh, or just hashtag uh, twit and we'll find it and we can uh, show them next week. I bet we get some nice pictures. Thanks to you, some, some, something a little bit different.